when you think about working in partnership and with the organizations that you consult to and have worked with, what, what are some of the key standout items that those organizations are doing well in relation to working in partnership? Yeah, you know, I, I think it goes back to that second question I just talked about, right? Where, you know, instead of forcing talent to come to us on our terms as, as an organization, and very much typically that's a one size fits most sort of option, to increasingly saying, I'm going to meet you on your terms. You know, I'm going to be inclusive. I'm going to be, as we say at Mercer, right, um, leading with economics and empathy. You know, what does empathy actually mean? Um, but, you know, an understanding of what it means to walk in that other person's shoes um, and being, you know, able to be a much, lot more inclusive and recognizing that that work experience is just such a unique one. And I think what we've seen with the pandemic is that that very personalized experience laid bare for all to see on Zoom. Um, and I think we see so many organizations now, you know, recalibrating to recognize that they've got an opportunity to not think about people working for them, but to think about the workforce working with them in pursuit of a common mission and purpose. So much of what we're seeing with um, our large clients around the world is how do I index um, the way I engage with talent, A, to meet them on their terms, but B, to also ensure that I'm reframing culture, reframing what it means to be a part, a member of this enterprise, not so much in terms of competitive pay and benefits and, you know, and, and, a, and a work environment where we spent 40 hours a week. I mean, those are still important, but increasingly how the mission and purpose that I advocate for um, aligns with the mission, the impact you individually would like to make uh, on this planet. Mm 